Well, switching gears right now, as you probably heard, a project in the works for nearly 70 years is becoming reality today. Amtrak's first passenger train is taking off today from Burlington to New York City. But before we roll into the station, NBC5 Sid Boulay took a look at a living member of Vermont's rail history and is live in Burlington with more. Sid? Sarah Beth, I was lucky enough to meet Vermont's last living telegraph operator and dispatcher to work out of St. Albans on the Central Vermont Railway. He says he's so excited to see people getting ready for this inaugural trip. Certainly. 93 year old Truman Breyer worked for the Central Vermont Railway for around 20 years as a telegraph operator and dispatcher. Getting messages to the front and back of trains as they came by, making sure there wouldn't be a collision up ahead. Well, it worked like, well, most of the time. Very, very rarely was there a mix-up where the, they didn't work as intended. If there was a mix-up, trains would have to stop, delaying passengers and shipments of goods. <laughs> telegraph messages could go anywhere from the next town over to across the country. And while telegraphs are rarely used now, they were one of the fastest modes of communication at the time. The three fastest ways were telephone, telegraph, and telewoman. <laughs> After more than 20 years since Breyer last touched the telegraph, he still got it. <laughs> it's amazing. I guess some things, you, you get stiff in the wrists and fingers, but you, you don't forget what the hell they are. Right? But Breyer says one of his favorite parts of the job was meeting so many people. You met a lot of people. You met some uh, high-end people. Breyer says he's excited to see people turning back to the rails, as he got to see their importance firsthand during his career. It was a very, very good outlet for Canadian traffic down through Vermont into Boston, New York, and so forth, you know, Connecticut, Hartford, your big cities. Excited to see that once again for passengers riding the Amtrak Ethan Allen Express to New York. The trip will be happening right here later this morning. NBC5 will continue to bring you coverage. I was lucky to spend over two hours with Truman, and he was truly a wonderful person. He's so excited to see people taking this trip and getting excited about the rails. Live in Burlington, Sid Buley, NBC5 News.